welcome back to another video so today i want to tell you guys about a story that happened to me like a while ago and it was like it was a school day it was a monday my little brother and my mom were home and um because they were sick and so uh my little brother was had like the cold and so he made my mom get sick and then so they both stayed home so what happened was um what happened was my i got i it was the end of the day and i got in my mom's car and she was like hey look at this and i'm like okay sure so she shows me like this 35 second video from uh one of our friends um and like so behind our house there's like a lot of like forest i should say not forest but like there's a lot of plants behind our houses and so after so um what happened was there was like this 35 second clip of this like this huge fire and so i was like oh my gosh and i'm like are the pillar people still there and she's like no they're they this happened at like lunch and i was like oh my gosh and i'm like do you know what happened and they were like yeah some kids sound like remember this is a school day and these kids were like sixth graders and she was like yeah some kids in like black hoodies and stuff went behind the houses and started light lighting off firecrackers and i'm like really and she's like yeah and i and she said they were lighting off firecrackers and looks like one of them exploded wrong as they should because they're firecrackers and you shouldn't be lighting them off in places like that with all those plants and so then uh so they lit it off and then this huge fire started and this one kid in my neighborhood he was older i think he was i think it was his day off cuz yeah and so he was in his backyard and he saw this huge thing of fire and so he grabbed this hose and he started like spraying it away and he called 911 and it was like it was a super crazy experience because when you saw the fire, it was like it was crazy. But the even crazier thing was it didn't even damage the fence. It did like a little little bit of like stuff to the fence, but not much. And so they're st I think they're still looking for the kids. But yeah, that was a really crazy experience. And I thought personally, I'm super happy I wasn't there at the time. Sorry guys. And I was like, uh, I and I was thinking to myself, I'm so happy I wasn't there, because like, you you never know. It was it was a really crazy thing to see, cause the fire was like going through their fence, like it wasn't it. And I'm and like a week before that, we cleaned out all like this, all this like destroyed grass, um, this like grass that was like all um when it dried out and it it yeah it was like a really crazy experience if we didn't clear that thing uh my friend's house would be like burnt like burned up because yeah so please please don't light firecrackers anywhere unless you have adult supervision and uh please don't light them behind people's houses Go to school, I should say, and uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll make this a new series if this gets enough likes. Peace out, guys.